Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're working on a project and you need a particular IC and the only version you have is an SMD. In this case this is a uh, SOIC 16 of a CD4017. Not quite going to work. But let me show you an easy way that you can make yourself a simple board to convert from through hole or from <laughs> SMD to through hole. Only takes a few minutes and if you don't count the shipping, you can do it for 5 bucks. If you do count the shipping, you're looking at around 20 bucks. But hey, you get a bunch of these pull yourself out of this situation whenever you find yourself in it, right? All right, so let me show you how to do this. Um, take any SOIC 16 chip. In this case, I'm just using a CD4017. And then get yourself some 2.5 more 54 millimeter female connectors. Put them on the board or on the schematic. Just connect them up straight across like this. Depending on which uh, program you're using to design your boards, you might be able to just design it right on the PCB. I mean, in any program, you can drop pads if you want, but I find it easier if we already have a footprint out there. So all we're doing, like I said, is we're connecting it straight across, pin to pin. Then we need to save it. And then we'll convert it to a PCB. Let's make it round rectangular. Good. Out of the way. And the key to this whole thing is to set your grid at 2.54 millimeters. So if we just zoom in here, you see we have 2.54 millimeters that way. And 2.54 millimeters that way. If you have your grid set to 2.54, you know, 0.01 inch, or 1 inch, whatever it is, then you won't have any trouble at all. Bring this in. Center it up as best we can. And again, we'll bring this in. And what's important here is that we center this right on the crossway just like that so where these lines intersect that's the important thing looks good I'm going to bring this in this is probably going to get messy That I know. You don't have to do this, you can leave it bigger. I'm just trying to 
make this as small as I can. There we go. Then we just need to route it. I mean, literally, there's nothing to it. You can pop out these SMD to through-hole adapters in just a couple minutes on any board that you're using, or any design software you're using, and any ICs you're using. There's just, like I said, it's simply a matter of drawing some straight lines. Why didn't that work? Then you can add whatever artwork you want to it. Uh, label it however you want. Save your file. We take a look at a 3D view of it here. One second. Whoop. And of course, you know, we'll put our pins on the bottom there. And you have yourself an SOIC 16 to a DIP 16. All you have to do now is order it. And yes, I am ordering from PCBWay, a major sponsor of this channel, but again, I wouldn't use them if they didn't do great work. And they do, and they're fast. So you just come over here to PCB Instant Quote, Quick Order, PCB, add the Gerber file, I should be here in downloads. Where's she at? SOIC to dip 16. There it is. Yeah, I did a square one too. Five boards, two layers, uh, 1.6 millimeter, six and six. Pick your color. Pick your silk screen. Tick here. That's it. Order your boards. And choose your shipping. You can see we got $18 for DHL to the US. FedEx, $22. PCB Way Express, $13. It takes a month. China Post, ten dollars could take up to two months e-packet a month for eight dollars that's your cheapest way to do it so you can get five boards to the US here for twelve dollars uh, let's say you're somewhere in Europe like for instance Italy well that is going to cost you twenty six dollars in Germany same price the Netherlands, a little bit more. How about Spain? 26. In the UK, 26. What about if you're somewhere else? What if you're in Botswana? 47. But you get it in 5 to 12. Oh, that's DHL. China Post. Look, you can get five boards for $12. Not bad. Any way you look at it, cheap, fast, good boards. Four days. That's the fastest I've ever gotten boards. That's amazing. With a four-day turnaround, and yes, you have to pay a little bit extra for that kind of shipping speed. But with a four-day turnaround, there's no reason I would ever make boards at home again. There's just, there is absolutely no reason for it. That's truly amazing. Thank you, PCBWay, for your super fast service. So, there are, I was gonna say, why'd they only send me four? Because there's another one 
still hiding in the bag. <clears throat> so there's my boards. And I'm going to assemble one for you. Alright. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of flux to the pins. Or in this case, the uh, footprints there. And I'm just going to tin one of them real quick like. Okay, next up we will add the IC. And try and get it in place. This is very tricky for me. I'm not good at SMD soldering. Alright, I think I got that down. Now I'm just going to flood solder. The other side here. Then once that cools, give it a couple seconds, I will flood solder this side as well. So far so good. The well, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some desoldering wick and pick up the excess. making sure that we don't have any bridges. Okay, so there's our boards. Looking pretty nice. I'm just going to go over them real quick with a meter set for continuity and just check that Just check that everything works. Oh, get in the hole there. So far, so good. All good. So now we'll solder it together. And of course, I like to stick the pins in the breadboard and then put our board on top of it. If I can get everything lined up here. That way, I know that it's right where I want it to be. Okay. So now we will solder these in. And you know, you don't have to watch me do that, right? So there it is. Easy peasy. It's upside downy wowny. But you get the idea. There's nothing to it. 
So I'll put a link to this down below where you can order these or download the Gerbers your choice. But I would encourage you to try and make this yourself. This is about as simple as it gets. And, you know, it'll get you some good SMD practice, right? Right. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that if you did enjoy it, you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCB Way, and a big thanks to you for watching and being part of the community. That's it. I'm out. Peace.